What's going on everyone? Seth Miranda here from Manfrotto along with my girl Gabrielle. Hello. She's like a two for one, a really fun model and also a very skilled makeup artist and she's got a cool wardrobe all the time. So we're always glad to have her along. But today I really wanted to go easy, right? So we're in Soho, Manhattan in my home of New York City right here. It's a cool spot. There's always cobblestone, old architecture, graffiti, random stuff. And we're on a pretty random street as it is. And there's a lot of shade and things like that. And you can shoot in the shade and get like really soft, flat type lighting if you want it. But why when you can really easily make the light you want or just get different looks and more versatility and that's where this comes in so you guys have seen me use this on a million videos if you follow me anywhere this is one of my favorite things in the last few years i gotta say this has actually changed my game and my kit more than anything I've gotten, and it's not, even, it's not even like anything electronic. This is the Manfrotto Halo Compact. It's a 32 inch reflector, diffuser, a bunch of different skins, but it packs down into something this big, which means I can carry not just one, but like multiples of it and always have it on me. Because one of the first things you buy when you're a photographer is like a reflector, the circle reflector, but it's a disc and you always look at it like, do I really want to carry this thing around? I don't know. Do I want to cram it in a bag? And if you do, you pull it out and it's floppy and you need like an assistant it was just me and gabrielle today so i was able to use this super rigid and just able to hold it out without having to worry about anything happening it's there for me i can i can work by myself and fast before we get into what we shot with the halo compact today let's talk about building it and breaking it down because it's super fast and super easy but there are some tricks you should know about it and then when you're building this keep in mind that while you do have all these clips here the one thing you want to keep in mind is just going clip on one side of the handle and a clip on the other side of the handle. Because once you do that, you can clip around the entire frame and you'll never run into, oh no, it has to click in the middle of this handle. You know what I mean? So you're already set and then you just do all the clicks. So start from the handle, end with the handle. So it's really quick to break down, right? You're literally just unsnapping it. What you're going to want to do is fold this in half multiple times right that's basically all you're doing is making it into like a triangle and then once you've got that set up this is the best way to break this down and keep longevity on your uh, elastic inside this tubing right you know elastic has a life to it right so you want to have the least amount of tension on it when you separate this you're going to want to actually go from the middle of the other side and then pull it apart when you do that it's the least amount of tension on the elastic and that means you do two and then two, and then two, and then two, and then two. And when you're done, this is how big it is. And then you take your triangle of your skin here and just wrap it around it. And then when you wrap it around, you're good to go because it'll fit right back in that pouch and you're this big. So you have basically a three foot size diffuser reflector, whatever, in this pouch, you always have it on you. So one of the things that we got to look at when we're going into an environment is what's the light like? We're here in the early morning. The light is blitzing through a cloudless sky and you got to make a decision of, well, do I want to shoot the sun and then reflect in or do I want to diffuse that sun and kind of block it and break it up and kind of get rid of that specular highlight, make it a little softer by making it this my light source, right? Well, I'm able to do that on the fly. I don't have to worry about changing skins. This is the deflector skin. This is a two-stop diffuser on one side, and then on the other side of the diffuser, they put these silver bands to give you like a soft silver because two-stop diffusion is dense enough to reflect, let alone having the silver in there to give that like kick if you want it. So for me, this is super versatile. I can take Gabrielle into the sun, block it a little bit, and then it's just gonna cause a really nice soft, shadowy type feel to it, like an open shadow if you wanna think of it that way. Or I can look for the sun and reflect it in, but you don't always have the sun where you want it, you're gonna to have to really work with it, but you have all these options on the fly, whether I want to block, whether I want to diffuse, I should say, or I want to reflect in. Now, here's the thing, here's the, here's the thing. I, I, this is my new series, Goths in the Sun, okay? <laughs> she, she melted pretty quickly in that sun, but when you are working with the sun, right, keep in mind that if I have her in the sunlight, and I, if you can see when I was shooting her, I put the diffusion over her and the sun went through the diffusion. This means that the light source is now this diffuser, but I still got the background to worry about. Now, if I put two stops of diffusion between her and basically the key light of the sun, the background can easily go nuclear if I'm exposing for her in shadow, right? Shadow is my where I'm exposing for. Behind her sunlight, it goes overexposed, super, super white, super nuclear. So you might want that look, but if you don't and you want to keep it nice and even and naturally-ish looking, what you're going to want to do is shoot into a shadow. Get her in the sun, 
get the diffusion in there, make that your light, and then shoot into the shadow. And then you're really kind of matching exposures so that it can look more natural rather than distracting, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, without diffusion. I know, I know, I know, I know. With diffusion. It's really beautiful with diffusion, it's nuts. What's really cool right here is I'm able to use the deflector in a couple ways. So usually you use the concrete as a reflector itself to get that cheat code of some you know, for some headshots and stuff like that. Well, the deflector here is actually taking the light from the concrete, reflecting it back down to even it out so it's not so underlit. And the diffuser itself is blocking the sun out to make it more diffused so it's not burning the back of Gabby out. So we're getting like nuclear highlights on her shoulder, on her fingertips and other things like that. I'm able to make it all even, all soft, all clean with just one reflector, diffuser, deflector, really. So I don't know anything else that does that. One thing I like to do also sometimes is just ease off the, the diffuser a little bit and let a little halo of sunlight hit the back of Gabrielle's head so we get a little more of a hair light, especially on some like nice dark hair like this. You get that like goldeny feel to it, a little more life to it, a little more dynamic. Now we can easily just take this and reflect in and clean up some of those shadows out there. That's a given, right? We've all have done that, but you can't always do that. It's based on the reflection of the sun. Remember, angle in, angle out. Angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So you're kind of at the mercy of where the sun is. However, if you place Gabrielle, or your model, depending on what her, their model, their name is, <laughs> if you place Gabrielle where you need them and you're shooting into whatever background you're looking for, but if you can get the sun to reflect off of this soft silver deflector, it easily becomes your key light and then we get something that looks more sculpted, more dramatic. You have facial features, who knew? Who knew? I, I didn't know. She didn't know, so now she knows after these shots because when you reflect the light back in, you do get a harder light source, but it's refined and directed where you want, how you want. So the shadows on her face are projected how we want because we are literally the ones projecting those shadows by reflecting the sun where we want it. Basically kind of looks like she's lit, but she's not, and I didn't have to carry any lights. I literally just carried this, which again, fits right here in my back pocket and I'm good to go. If I was to say, you're going into getting one of these and you're not sure what skin, this is the skin I always make sure I have on me. This lets me do on the fly, super versatile, super fast, going between diffusing and reflecting without having to worry about what skin, what, what reflector I got on me, what size, whatever, no. And at 32 inches, you can easily see it was a plenty to cover her in the shade that we wanted. I call it shade, but it really isn't. It's really diffused sunlight but you would worry about coverage, not really the case here. So I think this is easily one of these things that I never worry anymore if I don't have anything but a camera and a lens on me. I go, no, I definitely always have one of these on me because it fits, it's literally in my back pocket. Like it's, it's always on me. The speed I can work at and the fact that I can just walk around with the light that I'm in and really mold it how I want and get different looks really fast on the fly with just the light, but still keep it relatively natural looking gold. I mean, it's, it's something that you can't overlook having in your bag. But of course, because of the diffuser, I could also do something like shooting a strobe through it if I wanted to, which maybe we'll do in a future video. But for now, I just wanted to use the natural light in the early morning. Just check it out. If you guys have any questions, hit us with some comments. Look at hit like, subscribe to and follow Manfrotto on all the platforms. My name is Seth Miranda, last ex-witness on all the social. This is Gabrielle. And my Instagram is gabrielle.elise26. There you go. See? Only slightly awkward. A little. Just a little. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.